Introducing first, from San Francisco, California, weighing 223 pounds, the Golden Boy, Dylan Drake. The ring announcer just call him the Golden Boy? Yes. That is an utter disrespect to the late, great WWE Hall of Famer, Arnold Scullin. I don't know if Scullin passed it on or what happened, or uh, perhaps it's a... <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to give everyone an out. Yeah, got to shoot on that one. It takes such audacity for a man to walk into a wrestling ring wearing a robe of such grandeur with the words, Whoa. Go wow. Wow. That's one cocky guy. That's pretty cool, actually. Got to give him credit. Lex Luger's got nothing on that. Wow, that's quite a, I believe that is a, a debut of that, of that particular robe. That's really cool. Quite the collection, I imagine, uh, quite the garment bag collection to accompany that rope collection. Because that's what's important. How many garment bags does the man have? And now, ladies and gentlemen, arguably one of the greatest wrestlers over the last 40 years to ever step in a ring. Here he comes! Unbelievable, Matt Hardy in the building, direct from Cameron, North Carolina direct from the, the wrestling. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing 231 pounds, Matt Hardy! As I was saying, Matt Hardy, one of the all-time greats, not just as an incredible tag team competitor, but as an incredible singles wrestler, an inspiring story, and one of just the best people in wrestling, hands down. When Matt Hardy was 16 years old, he, his brother Jeff, a guy by the name that we now know as Hurricane and a, a sure. little low known great guy, Shannon Moore, they started a wrestling company called Omega. Absolutely. And if you wanted to make it in wrestling, you'd go down to Omega. These guys didn't do it for the money. These guys didn't do it for the glory. What they did it for was the love and passion of wrestling. Matt Hardy took that passion with him to WWE. Definitely revolutionized the ladder match. Hey, Amen. Matt Hardy then rolled on into the new ECW, and now still to this day, Matt Hardy is out on the independent scene still working with the same heart and passion he had when he was 16 years old. Damn it, I respect Matt Hardy. It doesn't matter if it's 1,500 or 15,000, Matt Hardy gives it his all every time. And to see him not just on top of the independent world and Ring of Honor and everywhere else, but let's not forget what a social media pioneer this man is as well. Groundbreaking in every sense of the word. Look at the fervor, look at the froth. The crowd is boiling over with anticipation for the man's shirt. Well, this is what it's all about, and this is what Matt Hardy does. So many guys, they kind of, they walk around like they're above the fan base. They're better than the fan base, but not Matt Hardy. No, no, no. Matt Hardy still lives in the same little town that he was born and raised in. He still shops in the same shop right, and he still mingles with the same people. Matt Hardy's a man of the people. Matt Hardy, wait, he's asking for silence. <laughs> uh, not them. Requires the wisdom of Solomon to make the decision who is worthy of oh, the t-shirt. Perhaps if you want to see who's really worthy, offer to split the shirt in half and give it to two winners. <laughs> this belt is amazing. We can get a shot of this here. And after all that, some old guy in the crowd catches the shirt and gives it off to a kid. Good job. Good job. You don't always see that outcome. I've seen grown men fight for a, uh, a piece yeah. of an already pre-cut, pre-torn, more of a chachi than a full t-shirt, if you will. Kind of like a Terry Funk, you know, just the head hole and the rest is open. Nothing wrong with that. 
Honey, that man wore that shirt and poured water over his head. I will kill to have it. No this, question of who the crowd is behind tonight, man. This is your main event. Matt Hardy one-on-one -on -one with Dylan Drake. Dylan Drake is looking to uh, avenge a loss he suffered to Matt Hardy several months ago at the historic All Pro Wrestling Garage in Hayward, California, as immortalized in Beyond the Mat. Dylan Drake, the golden boy, Matt Hardy, stronger than death. And they're about to clash in this special attraction main event. Friday the 13th, All Pro Wrestling. Matt Stryker and KG, best seats in the house. Well, look at that. The mind games of uh, Matt Hardy working out perfectly here, drawing Dylan Drake into his trap like the spider into the web. The wily veteran Hardy ended up in that corner looking for a clean break. He might not get it. Look at the presence of Matt Hardy. Yeah, Matt's intense. Matt's really focused. Hasn't taken his eyes off his opponent at all until right now. Look at this face to face. Peter Frampton getting in the face of Matt Hardy now. Wow. Again, these two, they've, they've been cutting promos on each other on the internet. There's, there's been different comments and videos made and stuff. Dylan Drake obviously quite full of himself. And uh, Matt Hardy, I don't think, is willing to stand to be disrespected or to deal with someone who thinks he's better than he is. Because as you said, Matt Stryker, we are all equals in this game. Hardy locking in that headlock. Drake trying to work his way out if he can. Bam. Nailed him with that shoulder tackle. Hardy again with that shoulder tackle, taking down Drake. Drake clutching the back of his head, obviously made an impact with that mat. Biggest misconception in wrestling, Matt Stryker, is that the mat is soft. Trust me, it's not a bouncy castle. It is not a hotel room mattress. Boom. And that's a shoot. Absolutely. Well, the hotel room mattress. <laughs> that, that's, way, a, that's a fair one. Matt Hardy firmly in control, bouncing Dylan Drake all around the ring. And every, every time you hit that mat, that mat, the wind leaves your body, and it makes it harder and harder to catch your breath. Dylan Drake whether it's by design or by default here, is very wise to be on the floor to try to recapture his breath because you're going to need that for Matt Hardy's pacing. He's going to need to refill those lungs, put some gas back in that tank, some fire back in his fighting spirit. And like you said, the intensity of Matt Hardy not taking his eyes off of his opponent, very focused on getting this victory. It's great to see Matt uh, meeting and greeting and interacting with so many of his fans during a uh, little pre-match meet and greet that went on here. Oh, that's what Matt Hardy's always about, connecting with the people. You know, they say Cameron, North Carolina is Hardy country, but I found that almost every city in this free, civilized world is Hardy country. Fans of Matt Hardy come in all ages, all demographics. And once Dylan Drake re-enters that ring, Matt Stryker, we are about to have some combat. Nice setup. <laughs> Thanks, man. I like what Dylan did there. Just a nice little kick to the gut. And of course, Matt Hardy has one of the hardest heads in this business. Everyone wonders if he is Sapo in or not. I like what Dylan Drake is doing here. By focusing the attack on the midsection. It goes back to making it difficult to breathe, as you can see on Matt's face right now. If you can't breathe, you can't fight, Matt Stryker. You can't fight Matt Stryker regardless. <laughs> right. I should have made the comma more clear. <laughs> Matt Hardy with that hey. beautiful press slam. Dylan Drake took all that impact on his lower back. And now clotheslined out to that unforgiving floor and that back again making contact with that unforgiving steel railing. Very unforgiving. No, no, uh, no, forgiveness. Uh, no, yeah, no forgiveness. On that railing. 
you could like have an apology hand carved on, on two t stone tablets and that ring guardrail will not accept it. Call them the Ten Commandments. You could have it engraved, you could have a Skyrider do it. Not gonna it's gonna be unforgiving. Oh <laughs> You talk about slapping the taste out of someone's mouth. I could feel, I don't know if that was a tooth that went by or if it was a piece of calcified spittle. Calcified. But Matt Hardy is smacking some, some humbleness Smack, into the face of Dylan Drake. Skin. You'll notice that Matt's intensity is certainly really picked up. Dylan has done things to piss Matt Hardy off. Wise veteran maneuver there, roll in, break the count, move on. Five minutes has elapsed, five minutes. Very important to note for the yeah. amateur timekeepers at home. Oh, here we go. Well, that front row seat now includes Dylan Drake. Yep, let the fun begin. This is what you get when you come to a live APW event. You never know who's going to jump around in your seat and punch someone in the face. Matt Hardy's out in row five, bouncing Dylan Drake's head like a basketball off a steel chair. And not very common to bounce a basketball <laughs> no, off a steel at all. chair. Now, KG, you're a lot taller than I am, so you're going to have to tell me what's going on. Right. Oh, man. Oh, Matt man. Hardy just, uh, he threw uh, Dylan Drake about 12 rows back. Uh, rows have been taken out. People are scurrying. It is, uh, it's chaos here in the shadow of the Cow Palace. And I hope that big guy that almost beat me up is involved. I hope he's providing some uh, security for some of the, the smaller fans. But they are standing and trading Matt Stryker. Yeah, and let's Matt not forget Matt Hardy's hardcore or extreme background. And with all the chairs and all the bottles and all the guardrails around, Matt Hardy can utilize this to his advantage. And that's why Dylan Drake is so quick to get back in the ring. Extreme rules is what the Hardys define their whole lives and careers with. And is as high on, his, on himself oh! as... Oh! Wow. That's a page out of Matt Stryker's book right there. I think Dylan Drake might have seen oh! the, high, the high spot seminar. Matt Hardy has a surgically repaired left knee. He wears a huge knee brace a la Stone Cold Steve Austin underneath those long pants. And Dylan Drake may have felt that brace and now seems to focus the attack on Matt Hardy's left leg. Hardy in a bad position here. Trying to fight back. He is fighting back. He's not trying. He's going to suplex him out in the front row. Nice. Are you kidding me? Oh! Matt just guillotined himself on the guardrail. And the guardrail almost taken out the front row here. Thankfully, these quick-witted and quick-handed fans. Hardy is down. That was a brutal impact. Referee up to, up to a five count here. And here comes Dylan Drake. Well, now Dylan Drake realizes that a pinfall victory over Matt Hardy would certainly gain Dylan Drake much more favor than a countout victory. It sure would. A win over Matt Hardy could be a boost for anyone's career, but when you consider this is to take back, you know, Matt Hardy already defeated Dylan Drake in their first encounter. I think Dylan Drake wants to get on the scoreboard here to prove he can hang with a world-class competitor and future Hall of Famer It's like also Matt Hardy. It's Dylan's ego, and that is always the downfall of even the Amen. greatest men. Keep your ego in check. Yeah, if your ego is not in check, yourself, you may wreck. Yes, that should be a song. We might put that on a shirt. Dylan Drake relentless in his, uh, his stalking, his stalking of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy's taking a couple of uh, a couple of uh, hard Ooh. ones here, a couple of bad bumps. And you'll notice, not only the left leg, but the lower back now seems to be the focus of Dylan Drake. Well, I think it all ties into his sure. Beta Breakers finisher, you Absolutely. know what I mean? There's so much pressure on the legs, on that back. It gives him options as far as how to punish you, and it, it opens up multiple doors for possible submission. Okay, if Matt can't even stand. Cover here, very close to the ropes. Matt Hardy still kicks out, doesn't grab the ropes, wants to show the world there's still some fight left in Matt Hardy, because Matt Hardy is stronger than death. Always has been, always will be. But again, when you've got a, another man's complete body weight pressing your throat and closing your windpipe on the rope, oh, oh, Dylan Drake. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I've never seen that before, the Hulk Hogan leg drop on someone in the ropes, very unprecedented. Highly irregular. But must be the red and gold. Hardy on Dream Street here. Oh! Right on the back of his head. And again, that back also. 
and you'll notice the way that, that Mr. Drake made the cover. He covered along Matt Hardy's stomach because the lower back is weak. It forces Matt Hardy to lift his legs up higher to kick his opponent out. Absolutely. Dynamite on inside. Dynamite on inside, explosive TNT of knowledge. If IQ was dynamite, he'd blow up the building. Matt Stryker and KG Kevin Gill here for All Pro Wrestling, Friday the 13th. Yep. And our official, of course, right in there. That's Will Cuevas. That is him, and Dylan Drake's got Matt Hardy locked in here, but Hardy's starting to fire up with the support of this capacity crowd. All the pressure on Matt Hardy's lower back. He has, literally has to carry Dylan Drake's weight. Matt Hardy wise to get out of that position. Hardy fighting back. Go. I love the way that Dylan used Matt to shield the referee. Referee never saw it. Two. The hair pull on the third. Two. Using that hair, and we're back to square one again. Matt Hardy is back on the mat, and he needs to fight to his feet. Back on his feet, but staggered in the corner. Attempting to fight back and kick, ten but there's not a ton of minutes. gas in the tank. Ten minutes elapsed, I know, but there's not so much gas in the tank on those kicks. They take a little bit out of Drake, but is it enough? And keep in mind, Matt Hardy comes from North Carolina. We're in San Francisco, Francisco California. That is a cross-country flight. You have to wonder what kind of toll does that take on Matt Hardy's body? Absolutely. Jet lag, between jet lag and TSA, yeah. you might as well take a superplex. Oh, wow! Did you see that? Too. Matt Stryker getting out his notepad here. Backbreaker like impact across that top turnbuckle. Hardy's got to be in serious anguish here. If I was Dylan Drake, I would be focusing 100% of my energy and focus on that lower back of Matt Hardy. If, you know, the. What is this? Yeah, this is just, this is ego again, man. What are you doing, Dylan? This makes no sense at all. You're giving Matt Hardy time to recover. Honestly, I know we're supposed to be impartial, but this is stupid. Dylan Drake, if he wants to win, he's going about it in a way that, uh, it's not the most direct path, let's say. It's not a direct flight to victory. Well, I think it shows you where Dylan's head is at. I mean, and Dylan almost doesn't know what to do, and he seems now to be throwing all caution to the wind. Let's see the result. There you go. Gave Matt Hardy way too much time. And now, this is where Matt Hardy thrives. When opportunity knocks for a guy like Matt Hardy and the crowd starts to get behind this man, you will see an adrenaline rush unlike anything you've ever seen before if Matt can get to his feet before Dylan Drake. And that is a big if right now, Matt Stryker. Both these men have uh, put it all on the line tonight. They've left it all in the ring, but that unanswered question hangs in the air like a smoke of mysterious origin. Who is gonna walk away with the victory? Whose hand will be raised? Who will be first at the pay window? I wanna know who's smoking that stuff. It is a, uh, it is a, medical, uh, a medical necessity here in the Golden State of California for many. It's coming soon to the world. Matt Hardy is on his feet first, and that is a point that should not be overlooked. But Dylan Drake quick to cut him off. But look at that. Ooh, still stronger than death. Right on his tailbone. Get up so I can knock you down, Dylan Drake. And you'll notice Matt Hardy's positioning. Classic Matt Hardy. High impact bulldog right in the center of the ring. The back may have suffered too much. Two. No. Look, again, Matt keeps pawing at his hip and lower back. Think of everything Matt Hardy's been through. Falling off ladders, crashing through tables, being powerbombed by the Dudleys, being speared by Edge. All of that takes its toll. You know, and it's good to have an official in there like Will Cuevas. As you know, his military background, 15 years in and around wrestling. He left it all behind to go full-time with the Marines. And, uh... You know, he was temporarily sidelined with a serious injury last year at the hands of Dylan oh. Drake. Nice. Deep what cover, both legs. Could this? No. Could be not enough. It's good to see him back. Good to see this main event caliber match here for the world. Ring positioning of Matt Hardy is a beautiful thing to watch. The placement of Matt on the ropes, not in the turnbuckle where you see most guys, right. but off to the side. Bam! He knows how to use every part of that ring to his advantage. 
no stranger to the ring. Oh, oh wow. wow. Wasn't expecting that. Haven't seen that. Wow, I can see Matt Hardy's eyes rolling back in his head there. I didn't think he was going to. Wow. Could have been instinct at this point. Absolutely. And I'll tell you by, from experience, getting kicked in the mush like that, the minute you feel your shoulders touch the mat, you don't know if they've been down for five seconds, three seconds, 20 seconds. You want to get them off that mat as quick as possible. One million percent. Yeah, the moment you become aware of it, maybe it's like a late. hot skillet. Yep. And it may be one second too late. It only takes three. Hardy trying oh. to follow in. Dylan Jack Drake, knife. crafty. Feet on the ropes. Referee saw it. Good job. Good job, referee. That's right. That's the United States Marine right there. Law and order guy. Minutes. It's elapsed 15 minutes. Dylan Drake tried to use that leverage pinfall. And he might have, for all we know, he may have gotten the win right there if it wasn't for our referee. And I credit the official for not disqualifying Dylan Drake because he knows what the fans want to see a main event. Here we go. Hardy this rolls him up. It. Two. Two. No. They say he can slam a tornado, and I think that slam is enough to... Oh, no. I thought it was I could slap a tomato. He could slap a tomato. He can do anything. He's stronger than death. He defies it all. He is Matt Hardy. He is Matt Hardy. Thanks. Is there an echo in here? Is there an echo in here? Hardy, again, though, you can see that back paying the price for, for the, this heated combat, this intense rivalry. Another side effect blocked. Oh, wow. Took some of that on the back. Oh, no. Look at Dylan Drake's face. What do I have to do to beat this guy? But you have to think of everything Matt Hardy's been through. It's going to take everything and then some, Dylan, to beat Matt Hardy. I think at this point it's been scientifically proven you can't beat Matt Hardy at life and it's highly questionable if you can beat Matt Hardy in the ring. That's a shoot, that's on the reel. Right now, valuable time, recovery time. If this was a video game, Matt Hardy's health bar would be increasing right now as we speak. Yep, mashing buttons. Oh, I get it, I see that's, what you did. I'm putting a little effect. visual on it, Thanks, or audio on the visual. You do the I'm RBI baseball picture. music too. <laughs> <laughs> we could maybe put that on loop underneath us for these final few minutes. What could be the final few minutes? This thing could go all the way. This could be a time limit draw. Oh, wow. Hey. Did you see his head? Sure did. Cover here. Hardy's got him. What the? Dude, this kid's tough. How did he? Dylan Drake's tough. Say what you want. You don't have to like him. You don't have to like his ring attire or his wrestling style, but you have to respect the tenacity and temerity of this young man. Looks like his shoulder could have possibly been separated on that incredible, hellacious bump. From where I sat, I thought his head took more of it, but you could see him favoring that shoulder. Hardy. Could it be the twist of fate? Hardy's calling for it. Nope. Oh. Referee got a little something there. That oh, one was intentional. That was intentional. Sure it was, come on. Oh, and he took an ugly, ugly spill out there to the outside. First time was an accident. That was not something Matt Hardy intentionally did. But Dylan Drake 100% created an opportunity and an opening here. But the question is, an opportunity and an opening for what? What is going on here, Matt Stryker? Let's see that Dylan Drake has grabbed Matt Hardy's custom ROH title. What is the kind of irony would it be for Dylan Drake to beat Matt Hardy this way? Now he's calling for a ref. What is going on here? Sparky Ballard, two, three, are you kidding me? Dylan Drake got the win? Your winner via pinfall in 18 minutes, 30 seconds, the golden boy, Dylan Drake. Give him the mic like it's important, hurry up. What is going on here? No, Sparky. I know you're the senior official, but this match will not end like that. Dylan Drake, he threw Matt Hardy into me, and I fell out of the ring. This match, this match will continue. 
I, I, I like that decision. That's a fair decision. This man's a United States Marine. He's all about integrity and honesty. Pulling it down the middle. That's fair enough. If the finish is in question, then let these two compete until a clear and undisputed finish. Will Cuevas, these guys have some bad blood between hey. them too. Twist of fate, punch in the face into the twist of fate. Put a fork in him, Daly City, he's done. Your winner via pinfall in 19 minutes, 44 seconds, Matt Hardy. I'll admit, it's not standard referee protocol to take your shirt off and pose after the match. I will say he's going a bit outside of the jurisdiction of a referee here. We've talked all about adrenaline. We've addressed That's the fact true. that this young man is a United States Marine, and you can never take that away. This is a fighter and a he champion. Quits. What? Quitting as a referee. He said, I'm done, I quit. Hands over his referee stripes to our senior official Marky Ballard. While that plot unfolds, inside the ring stands a victorious Matt Hardy in a well-fought battle. A jubilant Matt Hardy, a triumphant Matt Hardy, a Matt Hardy who once again proved